Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about a super exciting topic. OpenAI LLM in Microsoft Fabric, OpenAI LLM in the Microsoft Fabric Notebook, OpenAI LLM for data engineering and data enrichment use cases. Yes, all of this is going to be covered in this video. Now, I'm not planning to do it for an hour and talk about how we might configure OpenAI LLM, what has to happen to set everything up. Let's just jump right into the use case and see how we might use these features for some practical applications for data engineering. Okay, here we go. We're in Microsoft Fabric. We're in a Python notebook and we're going to jump right in. So by default, you could check which versions of OpenAI you have installed, which one is available, and you can use pip install to get to the version that you prefer. Here I do all of my functions and kind of some of the configuration that I'm not going to get too much into uh, into this video, but if you guys have any questions, if this is interesting, that let me know and we will for sure get into the meat and potato and talk about what specifically you need to do to enable all of these capabilities. So the first thing that you're probably asking, hey, Andre, can you prove that you're actually talking to ChatGPT slash OpenAI? And I think I can. Let me go ahead and execute the cell. So we're going to ask a question. So I wrote a function that uh, takes this prompt. What is the answer to the ultimate question? And let's see what the answer might be. So it's going to run for a little bit. And, and now we have our answer. The answer is that the ultimate question of life in the universe and everything, the answer is 42. So we can ask any other questions. So we could say, for example, how much is five times five? So let's run that. And you see the answer is 25. So we are talking to, to an LLM model. So now let's talk about how we might use OpenAI LLM for some practical applications. So a lot of times we deal with text data. So uh, on one of my companies, we collect user stories. And for example, we would like to do a sentiment analysis. So here I wrote a function that takes a string and returns a sentiment on it. So if my string is Andre is a good dude, I'm going to run it. And the response comes back is that the sentiment on the string is positive. If I say that Andre is not that bright and around that, then we see that the sentiment is negative and I totally understand why. And now if I do Andre is a good dude, but not that bright and I run that, we see that the sentiment now is mixed. So now if I want to have a function that takes a bunch of user story or a bunch of text and converts it and extracts sentiment from it, then I can use Azure LLM or OpenAI LLM in, in Azure and Microsoft Fabric to calculate that sentiment. The next one is a little bit more sophisticated. Here, we're going to try to do some marketing analytics on a zip code. So let's go ahead and run this and see what kind of intelligence we can get on a zip code 26323. So now we see that the query ran and we have some interesting demographics information. We know the age distribution for the zip code, the family structure, income level, middle class, education level, occupation types, urban or rural. In this case, it's rural. And if it's uh, near a major metropolitan area. So now the question is, okay, uh, the open, LL open AI LLM is working. So how do we now use it for data enrichment? So let's take a look at the next example. Here I have a Spark data frame. So I'm just manually creating a list of zip codes. And now what I want to do is I want to add an extra column to this table that does have all this marketing analysis in it. So let me go ahead and run this and see what happens. Okay, now we have our result. So we have our five, five zip codes. Here we have marketing analysis for each zip code. So I could click on each, I can click on each zip code and now we could see what we have. So here for 26323, uh, we should get the same answer as before. So uh, it's a rural zip code. We don't know which, it, it's not near major metropolitan area. We know the age distribution. So it seems like it's an older folks living in the zip code predominantly. We know that it's middle class, education level, some college education, and it's a skilled labor and service industry. The next one is in Seattle. So it looks like it's an affluent zip code that's in urban area and Seattle metro area has a bunch of young kids, young folks living in the zip code. The next one is in Florida, Jacksonville metro area. The next one is in New York. And then lastly, we have another one in Chicago area that is urban. And then it's a blue collar service industry 
for this marketing um, from this marketing analytics insight. So we literally are able to use OpenAI LLM to just feed it a zip code and have it provide its best guesses. And these are pretty good guesses based on my knowledge of the zip code as to how affluent the area is, what is the income uh, situation is. These large language models, they actually have quite a bit of information. They're trained on quite a bit of cool data. So you could get to that by using LLM and then enriching your data set with these insights. Finally, once you have that data frame populated, all you need to do is run this line of code to write it back into your lake house. Let's do that. Okay, now that our file has been written back into the lake house, we can query our table just from using regular SQL. So here we have a sparse SQL cell. I can go ahead and run it. And now we have our results. So our results should be very, very much the same as before. So I can click on now, this is just running Spark SQL. And I could take a look and I can slice and dice and I can use this data for additional analysis downstream. So here's our Chicago, here's our New York, here's our Florida, here's our, I think it's Virginia, and this is Seattle. So I don't know how you guys feel about this, but I think that this is absolutely insane. The capabilities that we are now having in our back pocket are limitless. Now there is a lot more uh, to this. We can talk about how you might get to open AI in Fabric. If you have a P1 or F64, then you have open AI bundled into Synapse ML, and there is a way to get to it without having to do a lot of plumbing and setting up uh, in Azure. So there's so much more in this topic. So if you guys have any questions, or if you wanna start a discussion and you have any particular areas that you would like me to address, then leave your comments below or contact us at www.obvins.com slash contact. If you enjoyed this video, then please like and subscribe. Thank you for stopping by and I will see you soon on the next one.